what's going on guys let's try this problem right here this question is asking a laser beam having a diameter d in air strikes a piece of glass ng at an angle theta i right this is theta i what is the diameter of the beam in the glass now to do this problem let's go ahead and illustrate this problem first and then start doing right so first of all we have laser beam having this diameter so this means when we have this laser beam so let's say this is our glass right so this is our glass and let's draw a normal right here and uh, okay, let's draw another normal and if another tray come through this one and hit this hit this normal the distance between this one and the perpendicular distance between this one and this one perpendicular to this one right so perpendicular to this one and this one should the distance should be d so that's what basically the diameter mean so when we have two laser beams the diameter between them is d so this is what it's saying and the question is asking what is the diameter of the beam in the glass so what's going to happen is after this one hit the glass it's going to refract so it's going to turn a little bit inside so let's call this one incident angle theta i that's what given right so theta strike a piece of glass ng at an angle theta i so the incident angle is given that is theta i and the angle that is making with the normal after the refraction is refracted angle that we call that one theta r and okay so this is our refracted angle and then also this one also going to refract right so after this one hit the glass it's going to refract so now we are going to have a new diameter the diameter is going to be different the question is asking to find the new diameter so we have to find when we draw a perpendicular line to these two what's going to be the distance so let's call this one d prime and this is what we are trying to find so first of all we have to realize that this angle and this angle is equal so if this is theta i this one also must be theta i to justify this one if you take this one if you see this normal line and this one is 90 degree right so this is 90 degree and let's put like this and this one and this one is 90 degree and if you rotate this one with this one the angle between them is theta i so therefore this one so first thing is just together and if you rotate this one you are making the same angle if you make this angle here this should be equal to this the same goes to this one if you notice this normal and this one is perpendicular right this one and this is perpendicular and this one perpendicular line is this for this refractor angle perpendicular line is this so when we have this between them we have theta r so this the perpendicular lines meet together should be also same angle so this is also theta r so now we have theta i and theta r now from this one we can make a relationship like if we call this length l this length between them if we call this one l and from the this one we know that this is going to be this l is going to be d cos theta i right so d from the top it's d cos theta i is equal to l and from the bottom we know that d prime cos theta r is going to be equal to l right so d prime cos theta r is equal to l so now we can go ahead and equalize both since both of them are equal to l we can equalize so this is going to be d cos theta i is equal to d prime cos theta r here the question is asking for d prime so we can rearrange this one so this is going to be d prime is equal to d 
cos theta i divided by cos theta r but in the question we have cos theta i is provided d is given but we don't have theta r that we just created theta r right so we have to put this one in terms of given variables so instead of theta r we should try to replace now so how we can do that and for this one what we have to do is we have to use Snell's law so Snell's law is says that Snell's law says that n i sin theta i so here is going from air so let's call this one n a sin theta incident is equal to n g so this is going through glass right so this n g sin theta r reflected angle and from this one we know that uh, sin theta r is going to be n a over n g sin theta i therefore theta r is going to be equal to sin inverse n a over n g sin theta i now we have a value for theta r so this one n a and n g we know that this is index of refraction of glass and index of refraction of air n a is air and g is glass now we can replace this theta r with this value so this is going to be d prime is equal to d cos theta i d cos theta i and in the bottom we are going to have cos and instead of instead of theta r we are going to replace this whole value that is going to be sine inverse right so this is going to be sine inverse and we have na over ng times sine theta i now still we don't have na provided so we can also simplify this one furthermore by taking sine like if we take this whole thing as u right this whole thing as u sine u is going to be equivalent to this value because when you take sine sine and sine inverse cancels and we know that sine is opposite over adjacent sine u is going to be equal to n a over ng right so if we take this whole thing as u now if you draw a triangle right angle triangle and if you put u right here opposite sine is opposite over hypotenuse so this is going to be n a sin theta i because mm, n a is 1 sin theta also we have sin theta so this should be sin theta i also here right sin theta i sin theta i and uh, index of refraction of ar is always 1 so we can actually put the uh, 1 right here so we can just put sin theta i because 1 multiplied by this it's not going to change and hypotenuse is going to be ng so this is our u and we need cos u because this whole term we took it as u right so cos u is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent we can calculate using Pythagorean theorem so here we know that ng square is equal to let's say this is uh, x adjacent is x so ng square should be equal to x square plus sine square theta i sine square theta i so therefore x should be equal to ng square minus sine theta actually sine square theta i square root so we have the adjacent that is let's put it in a different color square root of ng square minus sine square theta i 
So here, here we have the adjacent. Now we can go ahead and replace this one in better way. Like we can write this one as d cos theta i. Maybe I write it in different color. So this is going to be d cos theta i over instead of cos u we replace adjacent over hypotenuse so adjacent is what adjacent is ng square square root of ng square minus sine square theta i ng square so let's uh, get rid of this part to make this one simpler adjacent over let's write this cos u first cos u is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so this is ng square minus sine square theta i and this is adjacent hypotenuse and ng right ng now we can write this ng as n square g square ng and ng square square root is going to be the same thing because if you take the square root you will get the number back right so if you combine them together this is going to be ng square over ng square that's going to be 1 minus sine square theta i over ng square right so that's the one we are going to replace so we are going we are going to write this answer as this is going to be our final answer so this is going to be 1 minus sine square theta i over ng square so this is going to be our new diameter in terms of theta i and ng and that's how we do similar problems i hope you guys find this video helpful See you next time.